All right, if you are riding the subway to work Monday morning in the middle of that storm, um, you realize how dangerously overcrowded our subway platforms are becoming. Now, a bit of good news. We are inching, and I use the term inching correctly, closer to a downtown relief line following the approval from the city's executive committee yesterday uh, that uh, a report goes towards council next week regarding Smart Track and the, uh, the relief line. Yesterday morning in the uh, paper, uh, the uh, Residential and Civil Construction Alliance of Ontario took out a full page ad saying how much longer before we uh, address the overcrowding platforms and the executive director of that organization, Andy Manahan, is with me right now. Good morning. Boy, does this get me heated up whenever we debate transit because that's all we ever do. Even in this cold weather. Talk <laughs> transit, talk transit. And you saw those platforms on Monday morning. That's just an example of what it's like with weather, but just on a regular rush hour day, yeah. it's dangerous. And then going back to the end of January when we had this vortex of really bad conditions with uh, switches freezing and people with their toes over the edge of the platform and young and uh, uh, blur, that was a seriously dangerous overcrowding situation. And that kind of condition, is we're going to see that more and more. We talk about the downtown relief line. Essentially, that is coming in. We're essentially coming in from the Danforth, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna circle around uh, and then come into downtown. Correct. Along, you know, sort of closer to the lake. Is it really gonna? Is, is it really going to make a difference? That little stretch, if okay. it happens. Uh, the the transit specialists that we talk to say that this is not just a project for downtowners, as the downtown relief line may imply. This project will have system-wide benefits, so even if you never ride the relief line, it'll ease other portions mm -hmm. of the network. How close? Was yesterday good news, bad news? Well, uh, the announcement that was made uh, by the City of Toronto, TTC, and Metrolinx uh, basically said uh, they're at 15 to 30 percent of design engineering for the phase one of Relief Line, which is from the burgeoning and growing downtown core. We have a south financial district as well as the regular mm -hmm. financial district. No one expected five decades ago that we'd have this kind of growth, including the residential condos that we see in downtown Toronto. So the pressing need is even more than it was in 1969 when the TTC said the Relief Line was its second highest priority after extending the subway to Yorkdale Mall, believe it or not. We talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. <laughs> We're good at that. Once we approve, though, then it takes five years, six years, in some cases ten years, in order to complete one project. Mm -hmm. We're moving at a snail's pace right now. Yeah, huh? I was involved with the Spadina subway extension, and, and that was uh, a very long process as well. Uh, it's good to consult people, make sure we have the proper alignments, station locations. That part of it is good. Uh, we do need to look at uh, technical innovations. For example, Elon Musk was looking at mm. accelerating tunnel boring. Uh, we've spoken to some of the engineering schools in uh, Toronto, like U of T, Ryerson, and so forth, and we'd like to find out what are other jurisdictions doing so that we can do things a little faster in Toronto. Yeah, we need to do, we need to do something faster. Uh, if this relief line does go on per schedule, mm -hmm. when can we be riding it? Well, current plans are that it would be open by 2031, but we've seen this project slip in the past, so we want to keep the pressure on. And by the way, you were talking earlier about not enough females in, uh, yeah. in various sectors. The percentage in, in construction is even uh, lower than that. We have 1 That's to 2%. True. So we would love to see females working on the relief line. Let's have you back to talk about that. I'd I, love you to. know what? I, that's a, a very good point. Thank you very much for that. You know what? Mm -hmm. Historically speaking, the New York subway, mm -hmm. they basically dug the first portion that was all commercials from one hotel to another. Right. They did it pretty well without permission. Yeah. Why don't you guys just start digging? We won't tell anyone. Exactly. Okay. Shh. <laughs> all right, let's go upstairs, check on our top stories. Here's Mel.